the challenge is set. I've got a three by three space and I cannot go outside of it. I've got to build myself a house with a working bed, a working farm, storage, a furnace, a crafting table, a working powered enchantment table, an anvil, an armor stand, and an ability to make potions. Oh my goodness, how am I gonna do it? Hang on, I've got an idea, don't you go anywhere. Just me and my Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you're watching this next video from me, Avamance. And today I've got a properly, properly tough challenge. I've got a cube, three by three by three. That is my space. I have to make a house. This house has to have a working bed. It has to have storage. It's got to have the ability for me to grow some food. I need a furnace. I need a crafting table. I need an enchantment table, but it's got to be powered, which means I need bookshelves too. I've got to have an anvil. I've got to have a brewing stand, and I've got to have an armor stand as well. How am I going to do that in a three by three space? Well, I have got an idea, and I think you might not want to miss this, so let's get on with it. So these are all the items we are going to need for this build. We're going to need a bed, we're going to need a chest, in fact we're going to have two chests, we're going to need a furnace, we're going to need a crafting table, we're going to need a rail and a minecart, you'll see why in a bit. We're going to need a few oak wood stairs, we are going to need a brewing stand, we're going to need a bit of white wall. This is purely to use as a block that we then remove. I've got white wall because it's dead easy to remove in survival. We need a few bookshelves, in fact we need five. We need one bit of glowstone, we need an enchantment table, we need an anvil, we need some seeds and a hoe, we need a bucket of water, and then we need a full set of armour with an armour stand. Let's get on with it. So we found ourselves a really, really nice place to live. Look, it's by the water, it's got mountains in the background, we've got trees and stuff like that, and it is an open plain. I think this is a beautiful spot, but we've only got three by three. So I'm going to go and dig down just one but we're not going to dig out all three we're going to dig that many out and in this little space here we're going to put our bed and we're going to get a chest we're going to stick the chest right there and we need a second chest too and that chest is going to go there we've got lots of storage in this place then we need to get our furnace we're going to come around this side we can get a furnace we're going to stick that right in there and a crafting table we're going to stick there so we've got quite a lot of amenities there already what we are going to do though is we're going to get ourselves a bucket of water and we're going to stick our bucket of water in that bit there that chest holds that back really really nicely and then we're also going to get our hoe because we need to hoe that bit there that is going to be our farm so we need to plant something in it so let's stick our seeds on they are ready to go here in this gap here we're going to get some rails and on top of those rails we're going to put a minecart. That is the first three by one space. Time for level two. So we're going to just to stick a couple of support blocks in here. And this is just so as we've got something to build around. I'm going to get rid of that and that. I'm going to pop on here, upside down oakwood stairs. On there we're going to do the same. And on this one we're going to do the same. So we've got a row of three oakwood stairs. Get rid of all three of those. Then come around the back stick another one there we're going to get our oakwood stairs again put that upside down on there and upside down on there so we've got two upside down steps there as well that means that still opens that's genius right so here we're going to go into crouch because we want to put our brewing stand on top of our furnace that bit stays open and this bit is officially full of the wheat so we can't put anything on that anyway then we've got to come up to the third level and the third level is actually an awful lot easier than the second one we're going to build a horseshoe shape out of books we're going to stick an enchantment table right there we're going to stick an anvil right there and we're going to stick glowstone there that's perfect and now all that leaves us to do is put our armor stand there and put some armor on it so I'm just going to get some armor and we're going to put our armor stand fully laden with all the armor we could need to go off bashing and that believe it or not is the completed house but Avo how does it work how can I live in there well I'm about to show you so the way this works is really really simple look you can access your chest there you can access your furnace without any problems bang that's dead easy you can get your brewing stand that's there you can come around here 
and you can access your crafting table without any problems whatsoever and then you can get to this second chest as well you can get to the bed i'm going to show you that in a minute up here clearly the anvil is accessible you can get to your armor stand and if you want to use your enchantment table all you need to do is break that and that will start to see the magic words floating over to that enchantment table which is all you need and that light can be put back and that will aid the growth of those lovely vegetables even when it's night time but what about sleeping so it's night time and you've got all kinds of nasties about to come out and eat your face so you've got to go to sleep because you want to set it back today now you can easily do that because you can access your bed right in there and click on there you can then go to sleep you won't suffocate when you wake up but you are a little bit stuck that's okay just right click on the minecart there and then left shift to dismount and out you go you're outside of your house very nicely thank you very much let me show you that just one more time come in go to sleep you go to sleep you're quite safe nothing is gonna get you and then left click and left shift so that's right click sorry and left shift and you are out of your house again it's really simple now going all the way around it you cannot get attacked arguably i suppose a baby zombie might be able to slip through there in the comments below let me know can a baby zombie slip through that section but other than that you are pretty much safe as houses if you pardon the pun and that dear viewer is how you make a house in a three by three cube i have not gone outside that three by three and if anybody in the comments says oh bravo that armor stand is taller than three by three well quite frankly i don't care you can lose that little corner stair that's right behind me there and put the armor stand on top of the crafting table that'll bring it down three by three if you are going to be that big of a pedant but I'm sure you won't be because you viewers are lovely aren't you brilliant so if you've enjoyed this video please do make sure you slap that like button full in the face it has got to be worth it i think we should go for 682 likes for this one 682 likes for this video that would be amazing and don't forget to hit that sub button it'd be great to see you in my sub club and my notification squad and i'll look forward to seeing you in another video you take it easy now bye